Hello, I'm Dr. J from OptionMonster.com. The reason Jamie's reports are so valuable, folks, is the VIX is a metric of risk in the market. So as it picks up, that means people are worried about protecting. If the market's been going up, when their VIX is going up, well, then that means they want to protect. They're worried about the market rolling over. If the market's been going down very hard, well, obviously, then they're worried that maybe the market makes a U-turn and goes to the upside. So you got to watch the VIX. That's why this report is so important. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter. Twitter.com slash OptionMonster.com. Take it away, Jamie. Welcome. This is your Option Monster Volatility Sonar Report. From the floor of the SIBO, this is Jamie Tyrrell of Group 1 Trading. Well, we're seeing another uptick in the market, another downtick in the VIX as volatility creeps lower and lower. There are a number of uh, economic numbers that came out today that pleased the market, uh, including foreclosures having a big reduction from April to May, hovering right around 300,000 foreclosures in May. Uh, the S&P 500 is up about eight, and we've seen the VIX drop below 28. It's trading about 27 and a half for the calculation. Now, if you look at the term structure and the futures, you'll notice that the June future is right around 28, whereas the back months are higher. They're still above 30. We're stepping into a term structure in the futures known as contango, where the cash is lower than the front month and the front month is lower than the back months. It's, uh, it's people reflecting know. that what the sort of volatility we're seeing right now is lower than the perceived midterm average. So we're at about 27 volatility right now, whereas people see a little bit more volatility in the future. It's a sign of a, a healthy and calm market when you're in contango. The opposite being backwardation with a very high VIX like we saw last fall around 80 and then the back month futures lower than that. That's a sign of a real panic. Um, what we've seen in the VIX today, we've seen about 100,000 contracts trade but it's a bit deceiving because the volume we have seen has been very lumpy. There have been two big trades, and other than that, it's been a very quiet morning. Uh, the first big trade involved extreme upside calls in June, all one penny and two penny calls uh, between 42 and a half and 55. People were swapping some risk in the event of an extreme upside move. Nothing really to move markets, just some people preferred that highest protection above 55 and some people wanted protection between 42 and 55. The big order that would move a market was the July 45-55 call spread. Traded 20,000 times, traded for 42 and a half cents. Customer bought it. They had a firm lined up to sell all 20,000 for 42 and a half cents. They gave up 7,000 of the crowd and the reason it's not on the tape yet as I'm speaking is there's a bit of a dispute about who gets that 7,000 that was done in the crowd. But uh, that's how it went up, 20,000 buyer, big firm sold 13,000, rest of the crowd split up 7,000. This is Jamie Tyrrell with Group One, Option Monster.